no way this actually looks sick and there it is yo we absolutely destroy we destroy them yo our cavalry are popping off the horses are killing everybody today we are jumping into the world of game of thrones winter is coming to start a brand new adventure a new journey if you will towards war this game is celebrating its four year anniversary with a massive kvk on march 5th so today we are starting from scratch we are broke we got nothing boys so we got to start building up that army my lord the army of the dead is coming we must stop them at winterfell what's going on john snow okay he brought us a dragon egg it's lit dear lord winter is coming the army of the dead is upon us the northern alliance needs you i'm sending you this dragon egg to honor your support please find a suitable island for it if you can prove yourself a reliable ally i will grant you enough fiery essences to hatch your very own dragon. that's what i'm talking about first 10 seconds of the game we get a dragon egg let's go the threat of the dead is imminent but a lord should always put the safety of his people first true dude true okay once the egg hatches your dragon will become your most powerful ally i love this i love starting with dragons okay there's an island nearby that is suitable for hatching and raising a dragon let's do it okay let's click the dragon island fill the dragon egg with the source of the magic flame after you have filled five sources of magic flame you can successfully hatch the egg okay you are as bright and wise as the flame show lord follow my guide prove your strength and okay we'll get three more all right, we need three more and uh, then we can hatch this bad boy construct a barracks to increase your power okay so this is what i like to see we're just jumping right into it i'm assuming this is how we're going to train some soldiers here okay so we're starting we're starting right off the bat with war and uh i'm a big fan of that okay so we've got light infantry light cavalry light spearmen and light bowmen is it possible you could train all four troop types with the same barracks that's going to be lit let's go ahead and train the light infantry the battle will begin soon use train now to train your troops faster okay let's go ahead and speed that up real quick bada bing bada boom there we go okay we love free speed ups now really quick this video is sponsored by game of thrones winter is coming and there's going to be a link in the description and the pinned comments down below for you guys to download the game absolutely for free give it a try it helps support the channel a ton later in the video i'm going to talk about how you can join my alliance and join my server so make sure you stay tuned for that what's this a water spring rebel the rebels in the city outskirts have been threatening your rule since you took over it's time to eliminate that's what i'm talking about boys so we should deploy some light uh light infantry oh we can auto select okay it just selects everything for us and boom there we go let's see oh look at look at that and boom he's dead oh i didn't even uh, what did I, I lost like one inventory unit i think that's pretty much it one man took down his whole army because i'm an absolute savage okay so boom we cleared out the new area and we unlocked some farmland lumberland uh quarry and something else my lord you have cleared out the rebels of this area you could build a farmland to produce grain with enough grain you can continue to order a uh, restore order and rebuild your city okay so let's go ahead and do that and uh we'll select the farmland Ooh, it's cute it reminds me of the farms outside white run in like skyrim so we're gonna go ahead and build that love to see it you should also build a lumber yard a quarry and a mine okay wood stone and iron yes you're, we're gonna need all those those are gonna be essential for probably training troops i assume and building up our city okay so let's claim some of these different uh questicles we got going on here and all right so if we complete the chapter we get another essence for the dragon egg and need three of those so i'm assuming we have to complete the first like three chapters here uh so we got to upgrade our castle to level two okay i'm gonna just focus the castle to be honest with you guys like this is gonna be it Ooh, there we go that's actually a beautiful castle i'm not gonna lie to you look at that i wish i could live there man okay upgrade the castle level two we did that boom okay now we get our fiery essence and it's lit it looks like we'll actually get two fiery essences from completing this chapter so okay let's upgrade the castle to three this is gonna be easy peasy free upgrades boom there it is we doubled our army size that's what i like to see okay actually wait can i keep upgrading boom oh four okay okay we got we got it up to five so we just we just sprinted right there unlock maester's tower research different technologies to unlock different buffs okay we want to rush this as fast as possible okay we want all of the upgrades that we can get for the uh for the technology that's that's pretty straightforward okay let's start with production because i think that's going to be the biggest thing as a new player you probably want to focus on production building mastery exactly we want to do building mastery first because then you're going to gain this built this building speed right here Th this building speed you're going to gain this for the rest of the game okay so you want to upgrade this first the way it's faster to build the rest of your stuff it's free speed up free real estate okay boom there it is and is this free as well we might as well do that that's free grain production training master boom let's do that and then i'm gonna assume that this is free yes it is i love this okay so next we're gonna do about 30 minutes for the next building upgrade we'll just get that started while we're doing everything else here heal the wounded i didn't even know we had wounded my lord queen daenerys targaryen has seen your potential in the coming battle of winterfell you'll be an indispensable force that's what i'm dude true 
true i feel the same way before the battle begins you need to continue increasing your power please allow me to come in eight hours time and assist you okay log in tomorrow and get him okay great what is this free to claim download gt arcade claim tons of great rewards so if you play the game with gt arcade you get free stuff which is lit weekly reward look at this i feel bad for people who are playing this game on some other on some other platform boom yo our city is coming together boys our city is coming together oh lord upgrade baby let's go all right let's let's take a look at the talents here so we have battle talents and we have production talents i'm gonna go ahead and assume that for right now until we're actually fighting other players we want all of our points in the production talents here we have 605 production talents oh my gosh so there we used our two talent points oh we can rename ourselves omni arc confirm boom there it is okay so there's four different troop types we've already talked about this cavalry beats infantry infantry beats spearmen and spearmen beats cavalry bowmen do not counter or are countered by any other troop type so bowmen are neutral okay you deal extra damage to a troop type that you counter and you also take less damage from a troop type that you counter so that's good so let's go ahead and we're going to train some light spearmen it's going to take a little bit of time here and it looks like we have a free speed up i guess so we're going to just go ahead and do that we have 80 and that completes this and then we get to attack the grim fort outpost oh we actually get to watch these battles bro yo no way no way this actually looks sick no way okay all right so we're, we're sieging the city wall all right okay morale that reaches zero first is defeated total troop types are shown here okay commander information shown here and there it is yo we absolutely destroy we destroy them the city wall no no shots okay look at their morale going down all the way yo our cavalry are popping off the horses are killing everybody that was actually sick now that's what i call a real war boys okay so let's go ahead and claim that and now we get uh, the rest of the fiery essences and we can go to the dragon isle all right so let's infuse boom boom let's start the hatching process 30 minutes okay we have to wait 30 minutes oh we unlocked an alliance join or create an alliance you know we're creating an alliance boys all right we're calling it omni arc army we've got the slytherin vibes going on here slytherin gang let's create that boom alliance created successfully welcome to join us my lord confirm okay so when you create your character you want to join omni arc army okay this is the alliance i'm welcoming everybody first come first serve we have 99 slots open okay i need all of your help let's see this and boom 69 damage boys let's go we love that click on the commander avatar or press e to cast a skill boom and oh oh we can choose where the aoe goes and look at look at the horsey spinning around okay it's lit so obviously you, you know you want to you want to position this to where it hits everybody you don't want to just hit one you want to hit all three you know what i'm saying so boom there it is bam stunned him stunned him stunned him in his tracks bro stunned him in his tracks dude this this game looks actually honestly this looks sick chris was the nvp there okay let's move forward let's go to the next stage all right let's see how this goes we're charging in there we're charging in popping off just just one shot at him just one shot sheila just destroying there it is oh one shot from sheila takes him out she's a powerhouse okay you have unlocked a commander open the commander page and use exp items to upgrade the commander okay let's see we unlock Haley. looks like we've i mean we've had chris i think from the beginning strawberry pie is the experience item i actually that sounds delicious i'm very hungry right now i just gave i gave him all 27 i didn't mean to do that but whatever oh this is a leader stage okay all right i feel very immersed right now i feel like the, these little stages this just looks nice i like that we actually get to see the battles happening oh i misplaced that i missed my bad all right whatever we'll have sheila take him out there it is popped off absolutely popped off let's continue on we're making our way downtown walking fast faces past and we're homebound and uh that's pretty much it i mean wh what what are these guys gonna do you know what i'm saying like what what are they really gonna do nothing boom and boom honestly uh i probably didn't even need to use my skill there i was gonna win anyway you know what i'm saying but it was two of two so you know might as well use it big lit we unlocked a couple things rob stark let's go rob stark we're going to advance him for uh what is this 200 gold or something oh man we're getting free stuff boys we are getting free stuff this is the best part about starting a new game is just getting a bunch of free stuff yes dude give me all the free chests i'll claim this love that we're getting free diamonds that's the uh premium currency let's increase our lord experience oh my god we went from five to ten we get a bunch of different talents now okay construction speed and let's just bring that to the highest level complete event objectives to get aria aria for free free okay not today prove yourself by completing the seven day event of oh we're going we gonna complete them boys best belief if we get free stuff we're completing it okay what is this login Pfft, easy 
easy peasy okay yeah so you get medals for this commander if you just play through every day so that's that's the goal all right we're moving on to chapter four the war ahead oh okay so i can actually change the formation of these commanders so for example if chris if, if rob is down here he's actually countered by this front row but if i put chris here not only does chris counter him rob counters him and that's better and then we have sheila in the back row basically just popping off doing our thing you know what i'm saying we'll put Haley over there and we'll just see how this goes yo we are about to overwhelm them they have no idea what's coming they have no idea easy easy i didn't even look i took one percent damage boys one percent damage no problem oh we're getting some equipment over here we're getting some raspberry pie or strawberry whatever it was all right here we go we're just in the middle of a city just waging war just absolutely destroying everybody i love sheila in the back there just not taking any damage and just popping off I took one percent damage one percent damage what are they gonna do here nothing there's nothing they can do we're overwhelming them we're we're real warriors we're like we're really out here boys all right this is two of three this is our first three of three so we actually might have a little bit of a challenge here uh let's see if we can pop off and actually get some things done and uh it looks like we should be okay um okay we have a rectangular aoe right there okay we, we got a little william on the on the battlefield there we like to see that and boom okay oh we probably wasted that we probably wasted that that's the downside of using auto so you probably want to play manually but we have simon over here the leader support in healing frontal assault okay this man is he's about to pass away let's just be real this dude is about to pass away you know it i know it everybody knows it uh there's no shot he's got no shot yeah look at him look at him just passing away what did i tell you stun him there it is we got the stun he can't do anything we're crushing him Haley right there tanking a lot of the damage Ooh, Haley is holding in strong she is doing her best to stay alive and oh my god one shot just overwhelmed Haley hanging in there with only 366 troops left Rob Stark the MVP right there we love to see it and we unlocked Sansa Stark all right wearing all black there that's a little bit uh a little bit depressing but whatever all right we finally got our castle up to level six 20,000 army capacity we would love to see that and that's why you want to focus the castle first because that you just bring more troops to the battlefield and that's what you really want all right so we want to upgrade these uh these resource production buildings obviously we're going to get them free uh as at the beginning of the game here but I know that resources are going to be a problem okay these are these city builder games you know that's that when you're building a massive armies okay you're going to need as many resources as you could possibly get so let's just get let's get that out of the way all right this is 1-12 this is a this one that might actually be a little bit difficult so let's see how we let's see how we perform here i can't wait till we get our dragon because that's gonna make this a little bit better but uh oh yeah we are not doing so hot you can see right off the bat we are oh oh we healed up okay we healed up it's a little bit even neck and neck uh this is not looking great they're definitely outperforming right now we're getting pooped on we're getting pooped on this is not looking good we might have to actually uh we have to power up here for 1-12 yeah, we're gonna have to power up i'm not i'm not coming back from this one oof okay that that did not feel very good that hurt that hurt your boy okay took the we took a fat l but that's that's okay that's okay we're just gonna advance pretty much everybody so that way we uh can really pop off here and we'll do that bada bing bada boom wood production yeah you definitely want to advance these early game dudes even if they're a little bit weak you still want to do it oh we can level up the ancient dragon now okay okay I like this we like dragons quite a bit here on this channel so let's go ahead and feed the dragon your whelp is about to advance uh what is this skill raffle free boom what is this I don't know what that is but okay I'll take it look at this look at this watch this I throw a little meat on the ground there and he just noms it all up look at that so cute man I can't wait till you're a like fire breathing menace just give him all five who cares let's just do it oh he's flying away he's going on a little mission okay we sent him on a mission it'll take him 12 hours but he'll be fine all right we're challenging 1-12 again we'll see how this actually goes all right here we go we are off to a slightly better start okay before we drop pretty quickly right away uh and here we are we're actually winning right now we'll see if that continues to be the case after they pop their skills but it does seem to be the case that we we're actually doing quite well I think we're doing actually quite well right here uh I think we've got this in the bag okay so I upgraded everything to like level 12 and I progressed them all to stage two and I think that's that's what did it for us and I also added an additional commander in there as you can see on the bottom and that got us the victory so easy peasy lemon squeezy boys we took the L on the first round uh but we're all we're all set now we're all good now we can finally bring our dragon to battle which is lit all right here's here's the fearsome first battle with a dragon on our side it's actually lit they have the flaming arrows they think they can stop us but little do they know 
I've got a literal dragon. Watch this. Just watch this, okay? We have Chris and Sheila popping down the wall. Mortars, done. No problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We breach the wall. We go in there. Okay, we're dealing damage. We're taking a little bit of damage on the front lines, but nothing that we can't handle. And uh, it is what it is, okay? Easy. No problem. Dragon didn't even have to come out. We didn't even need the dragon for that one. That was easy. Oh, we unlock the daily quests. Okay, this is going to be important. That You're going to get a ton of value for this. Check this out. You got the charms, the wood. What do we get over here? More charms. Okay. And this is... Oh, you got a, a daily wheel chance. Got it. We got a one hour training speed up. We love that. That's free. Oh, there we go. There's our city. We're, we're out in the world now. Let's start attacking some stuff, boys. Here we go. There's our there's our troops. There's our army. They're coming, uh, they're coming to fight the free folk stronghold. Let's see how this actually goes. Let's see if we get the W here. Bada bing, bada boom. We got a free medal there actually from our command that's sick okay all right let's take a look at some of the commanders here in the game we have melisandra over here we have raymond we have sonara and the designs for these characters look super good like the actual graphics of this game are pretty impressive i mean come on look at the axe bro look at that as literally lava now of course we have chris i think everybody starts with this dude we have Arya. We have Varys, Jean, Sansa, Soren. Of course, we have the gorgeous Daenerys, okay? We got Rob Stark looking pretty uh, pretty good over here. We got uh, Robert, okay? Yo, careful where you spilling that, boy. What are you doing? Now, most of the commanders that I have here are ones that you can just get early on in the game. Arya is one that you actually get from this seven-day event, and this is absolutely something that you want to take advantage of. Every single day for the seven days that you play, you're going to be able to get medals of her for free just by doing things that you're normally going to be doing anyway like attacking rebel camps uh, logging in for seven days straight for example upgrading your castle clearing trials so when you first get a commander you're going to see that they start as a gray color then you can progress them to green and then of course there's blue purple and then we have gold as well and besides Arya, there's a couple of commanders in the game that you should be focusing on a little bit not just for war but for progression so for example Varys is a commander that we talked about before you get him for free after the first eight hours of playing and when you upgrade him you can see here that you actually unlock uh the scholars sagacity okay and this is basically going to increase your research speed so this is a passive buff to your entire city and you can see that as you get medals for him and you progress him and you advance him he goes from gray to green to blue you could see down here in the bottom right corner that it goes from 1.25 percent to two and a half percent to five percent to ten percent to 25 percent research speed just by upgrading this free commander so definitely somebody that you want to focus on the other one that you can also get from some events is Soren here he also has a research speed here off to the right and you can see here that I just unlocked this research skill for Soren, and the way that you do that is through advancing or promoting these different commanders so when you first get them they're going to be at a level one promotion as you can see here my Robert is level one and as you equip different equipment to them that you can actually get through doing the weirwood you can then level them up so here I'm going to equip the red copper insignia here we have the swamp rat and shoes health talisman wilding wine cup and here I can spend down my stamina by completing different different weirwood quests that I already got three stars on and so I'm basically completing these instantly because I've already beaten it and we're looking for the north dagger here which we did actually obtain and now I can go ahead and equip that to him but once they get rank two they unlock their second skill and then once they get to rank four they get their third skill and rank six is going to get you their final skill so again for new players Soren and Varys definitely are something that you want to focus a little bit on just for those passive buffs that you're going to get and great news you can actually get Soren for free as well through the limited time event I believe this is a two week event that comes around where you can get Soren medals by completing these quests here so all three of these commanders are ones that you get at the beginning of the game for free so it should be pretty straightforward to invest in them now beyond that which commanders you want to invest in really comes down to how you want to build your account as you know there are four different troop types here and there's a lot of synergy with building an entire army around a single troop type so you could go all infantry for example or all cavalry all spearmen and keeping in mind that each troop type counters another so if one player goes all cavalry you might not be able to access those same commanders but you could go all spearmen and deal more damage to that player and take less damage from their cavalry another way that you can sort of see what commanders are good in the game is if you jump into the training ground after you unlock it you can see that this is a place where you can actually challenge or auto battle other players in your kingdom in your server and you can actually see in the top right corner there is a ranking button and here it will show you the different commander breakdowns that we see 
from the top tier players so right here right now that the number one player is a two and you can see they have Melisandre, they have Chris, Arya, a lot of the commanders that I actually have already been focusing on, which makes me feel pretty good. And so you can go through here and see sort of which commanders are ones that show up pretty often. And that's going to give you a pretty good idea as to which ones you might want to start focusing on. And there's way more commanders that I actually don't even have unlocked. There's tons of commanders in this game. And, you know, if you're familiar with Game of Thrones, of course, you could just focus on the ones that you care the most about. I've heard that Gorel is quite good. He deals good damage and has a very powerful stun effect. I've also heard that unlocking Enzo, even if he's just gray, is pretty good. Obviously a cavalry commander here. And I've also heard that as far as Bowman goes, Theon is pretty good as well, just to get your hands on. Now, the last thing we have to talk about is the actual level of these commanders. So here you can see the highest that I have right now is 36. And the highest level that you can bring these commanders to is reflected in your actual Lord level. So you can see in the top left corner that I am Lord level 37, which means that since I upgraded my commanders last, uh, I haven't actually added any points to it. So here I can go ahead, add 37 strawberry pies and boom, Raymond is now level 37. And that's the highest that I can bring him until I actually level up my own Lord level. Now at the beginning of the game, I believe you can take them to level 15 until you get to Lord level 15. Once you go beyond Lord level 15 is when you can progress them. Any further so it's not like they have to stay at level one because they're level one and you're going to progress through those lord levels relatively quickly anyway now a couple of days has actually passed since i first started recording this video and i wanted to give you guys a couple of quick tips for the maester's tower this is the research in the game first things first you definitely want to focus on the production research okay you want to get this building speed as high as you can get it before you start pushing a lot of the buildings that you have in the game so here you can see i'm actually working on this this was over two days worth of research for this one building mastery six to seven uh, but beyond that you also want to make sure that you're producing the most amount of resources that you can a couple of the things here you don't really have to worry too much about in the beginning of the game obviously storehouse is important for protecting your resources but as long as you have a piece shield up and you're not getting into a ton of war you should be okay to skip this for a little while of course if you want to go for it then go for it diamond prospecting you also can unlock pretty early um you can actually farm diamonds in this game which is really cool but uh, at the beginning of the game you're not gonna probably do this too much until probably kvk so you can ignore that for a little bit as well just focus on the beginning portion of over here uh, beyond that the military technology is going to be really important as well upgrading your attack defense and your health through research but this is also how you unlock different troop types so here you can see if i jump into my barracks you can see that i'm actually training level two spearmen right now and the game goes all the way up to tier four and i believe there's also tier five which is not even something that we are going to think about right now according to players that i've talked to tier four is going to be the goal it's going to take quite a while to get there so for me right now i'm just focused on tier three that's going to be a huge power upgrade for me and my city tier one are pretty useless veterans are going to be tier two and then you have elite for tier three and royal for tier four so focus on getting the tier level up for your troops and the way that you're going to do that is by upgrading your actual castle your your main castle in your city and upgrading your maester's tower also for the beginning of the game you want to focus on on some of the early technologies in expeditions specifically logistics chivalry and military discipline these are going to allow you to do more pve content in the form of motivation recovery motivation limits and also your motivation cost we come over here and we scout for a rebel leader you can see that in order to attack a rebel leader i need to spend down some of my motivation so right now it's 563 just to send an attack and i also have a 3580 motivation limit also as you spend this down obviously it recovers over time and so the higher your cap the faster it recovers the more you're going to actually be able to fight against some of these rebel leaders and this is important because obviously you can gain diamonds for free literally for free just by playing through the game and of course you get speed ups and peace shields and all this other stuff so it's really important to defeat rebel leaders especially with your alliance and some early investment in this tech is going to help you out a ton also it helps out the alliance too a few other tips that i've picked up over the last few days is one you want to focus on getting as many resources as possible now if you go into your inventory you could see that you can actually obtain some of these stuff by using some items here do not use these items until you need to right i could i could click this button and immediately get 3000 iron 
but I already have a bunch of iron here just waiting to be used. And so it would be pointless for me to add more to that because if my city gets attacked, then it can be plundered. So don't use these items willy nilly, just use them when you need them. Also, you want to be upgrading uh, at least one of each uh, resource production building as high up as it can go. Cause you're going to need that to be max level to get your castle to max level anyway. And then you're going to see for this portion of the map here that you're going to be able to choose between a mint, a hospital, or I believe an a training ground or a training tent or something like that and it's my understanding that for most players you want to go for either all mint or a mixture of mint and hospital because you already have a training ground you already can train troops as you would want to and you could just speed them up if you want to the tr the army tents really just increase the maximum that you can train which for the early game and producing and building up your city that's not going to be as important as getting as much gold from the mint as you can and of course if you do end up fighting doing a lot of fighting or if your city gets gets hit then you want to have a couple of hospitals here just to capture as many of those wounded troops as possible so you don't get dead troops that's really expensive to replenish if those production buildings aren't enough for you you can actually gather resources out in the map so this is the mine you can find these different production buildings by actually clicking this search button down here and you can see that you could search for resource plots so quarries are for stone lumber yard is for wood farmland is for grain mine is obviously for iron and mint is for gold so you would just send troops to gather here you can select whichever commanders that you want to you can send however many troops that you want to it'll tell you what your gathering speed is it'll also tell you how long it's going to take and how much you can actually obtain from gathering there so if you find yourself running low make sure you send out some gatherers especially before you log off if you're going to log off for a while send out some gatherers make some good use out of the time that you're going to be offline because you're going to need those resources i promise the next massive tip i have for you guys is that you should definitely join an alliance specifically my alliance if you're playing the game and you're watching this video but the reason for that is because when you join it alliance a few things one obviously you can start to rally some of the rebel camps here and this is going to be a really good way for you to get a bunch of free rewards as a matter of fact let me go ahead and actually join this one right away but on top of that you're going to get alliance gifts so as people do these rallies or as they make purchases here in the game you can see that i have a, a couple of purchases here through my account as well so you get free stuff just by being and playing with other players which is huge but not only that it's a war game so if you get attacked you'll have other players to play alongside you and help defend you and that's going to be really important also there's different alliance based events and there's going to be even more events moving forward in the game so if you guys want to join my alliance if you're in my server which is server 385 you can find that out by going to the world map and it's in the top right corner where it says k that's your kingdom okay so for me i'm in kingdom 385 now if you're not in my kingdom but you still want to join my alliance great news you can actually migrate to my kingdom for free within the first couple of days of playing the game specifically for the first seven days of your account being active you're going to have an item called the novice transfer and this is going to be what you need in order to transfer to my kingdom 385 the way that you use the novice transfer is that you're actually going to go into the world and in the top right corner over here you're going to click the world map this is going to show you all the different kingdoms that we have you can see king 385 at the time of recording this i believe is the newest kingdom 386 is probably going to open sometime within the next couple of days but let's say i wanted to migrate to another kingdom you would click the kingdom that you want to migrate to and then you're going to find some space on the open world in the map and then you click the relocation button right here in the center so for you guys you're going to come over to the world map you're going to click kingdom 385 you're going to join me here and then you just click the relocate button you can use that free novice transfer within the first seven days and that's how you're going to join my alliance also keep in mind if you created an account in an older kingdom you cannot migrate up to the newer kingdom you can only migrate backwards so if you create your account in 386 you can migrate back to 385 where i am but you cannot migrate from 385 to 386 just as an example but that shouldn't be an issue because by the time you guys are watching this you're probably in a newer kingdom than me and my migrating back is definitely possible if you see that my alliance is full because obviously we're at 98 right now we keep bumping up to uh to that 100 member mark just send me a message in game or on discord I'll have my discord link down below I also obviously you can see here I have it right here there's a special section in my discord specifically for game of thrones winter is coming so it's going to be important that you join my discord anyway I look forward to playing alongside you guys in kvk here in game of thrones it should be around March 
5th that that's coming around and that sounds like a long time away but we need to start building up our cities now because it's going to be a big kvk so go ahead and click the link in the description below to download game of thrones winter is coming of course the game is absolutely free so it costs nothing just to try it out and this video is sponsored by game of thrones winter is coming i just wanted to thank them for sponsoring this video generous sponsors like game of thrones winter is coming help support this channel and if you want to support me for free you can click the link down below to play the game i look forward to seeing you guys in my alliance in kingdom 385 with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a game of thrones video comment down below your thoughts on game of thrones winter is coming have you tried the game before have you watched the series this is an officially licensed game from game of thrones like this is this is 100 legit are you guys fans of game of thrones i would love to know in the comment section below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace